welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I make my homemade dog food for my Blissy girl. She is a golden doodle and she's nine weeks. And also for Bentley who is six years old and he is a Yorkie. So I've been making his homemade dog food for a little over a month now and I'm here to report he hasn't vomited. He has been doing so well. He was having a lot of digestive issues which is why I made the idea to make homemade dog food. It definitely wasn't by choice but it was something that I just had to do because I didn't want my fur baby on medication. So he used to vomit every single day you guys he would vomit we tried so many different dog brand foods and nothing was working he was even put it on a medicated dog food that didn't help he was taking acid reflex medication that somewhat helped but not really so since he's been on the homemade dog food you guys he has not vomited in over a month which makes me so happy. He's doing absolutely amazing. Also, his coat used to be so dry. So when I used to do this on him, you could just see dandruff just flaking off of his coat. And now it's so healthy and so shiny. And it really is because of the homemade dog food. So he's been doing amazing. He's been having so much more energy. I am just so happy that he's not vomiting anymore and he's off of the acid reflux medication. He simply just has his homemade dog food and the supplements that I add into it, which I'll be sharing it with you guys. It has literally changed this poor guy's life. He is so much happier and he's having no more stomach issues right Bentley. And also the last thing I've noticed that has been a huge change is Bentley used to have very bad breath, you guys. It's kind of like a small breed kind of dog thing. He does get his teeth cleaned professionally um, through his vet once a year. And I also brush his teeth. I was giving him greenies. But every time he would eat kibble, his breath would just reek. And it wouldn't matter what brand of kibble it was, his breath would just be kicking. And it was awful. So now that he's been on the homemade dog, food his breath does not smell like a dog's it finally smells good and I am just so happy about it because it used to be so bad you guys so I've just seen such an amazing improvement and I wanted to make this video if I could just help one dog who's maybe going through the same thing that Bentley's going through to be able to just have a change of life I wanted to make this video for that reason so I'm gonna put him down and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the recipe that I have been feeding my dogs. So this is everything that I put in their homemade dog food. This is their favorite formula. So we have really been sticking to this exact formula for the last like two or three weeks. And it is the one that I've seen the best results on. So we're gonna be sticking to this, but what I put into it is this is pumpkin puree. It's 100% pumpkin puree. The only ingredient is pumpkin. You really wanna make sure you're doing that. And this is one third of the can. So what I I do is I get three of these containers and I section it off and so this is one third and then I also use some brown rice I will leave the exact recipe in the description box for you guys I use two sweet potatoes which yields about 1.5 cups to two cups of sweet potatoes I use spinach usually I use frozen spinach but we only have fresh on hand but usually I will buy a few of these bags and then I will just pop them in the freezer so that way they stay good for a really long time but since I picked this up yesterday it was still in the fridge and it was fresh we're going to use this I also use some carrots as well I like to get the baby carrots because they're already peeled for you and all you have to do is chop them in like bite-sized pieces it makes it so much faster buying them like this and I get all of these ingredients from all of these but the brown rice and it's super affordable you guys I think this pack of carrots is like 80 cents at all these and then I use some frozen peas these were fresh peas that I just froze so that way they wouldn't go bad but you also can use canned peas frozen fresh whatever you have like I said these I bought a whole bunch of fresh peas and then I just froze them in these little bags so that they would not go bad in the fridge and then you need two and a half pounds of some fresh ground turkey I picked this up from Aldi's and two and a half pounds of ground turkey from Aldi's is five dollars and eighty six cents
about to get ready to cook the dog food, I did want to say you don't have to have an instant pot. You can definitely pop this in the crock pot and put it on high for four hours or low for eight hours. You can even cook it on the stove top as well, but the instant pot is going to be the fastest way. It only takes 25 minutes in the instant pot. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to add the sweet potatoes. You can see they are big chunks because it's going to mash down. You'll see what I mean when it's done pressure cooking. It gets really small because we're going to mash it. So just put your sweet potatoes in the Instant Pot. You're now going to be adding your fresh carrots. You could add your frozen peas. This has already been measured out. Add your fresh spinach. You can add your pumpkin puree. This is amazing fiber for your dogs. It's like a dog power food, even for humans. It is just so good for your dog. It's good for their fiber intake, their digestive system. It just makes their stool so good. So don't skip out on the pumpkin. I've seen a huge difference with using the pumpkin. And now you're gonna need to add in the brown rice. I do one cup of brown rice. Then you can go ahead and add in your water, which is two cups of some filtered water. And then the last thing that you're gonna add in is your ground turkey. You can see the Instant Pot is perfectly full. It's just right at the max level. So this is going to be quite a bit. Just put the top on. And you're going to make sure your Instant Pot is on ceiling if you're using an Instant Pot and you want to pressure cook it for 25 minutes. And then you just want to let it do a manual release. You don't want to um, release it yourself. Just let it naturally release and then the dog food will be all done. Now that the food is cooking in the Instant Pot, it is gonna be so fast before it's done, I wanna to talk to you guys about supplements. So, if you're going to be feeding your dog homemade dog food, it is so important that your dog is getting the nutrients that they need. Just giving them this recipe is not gonna be enough. They still need their vitamins, their minerals, their omega-3s, and all of that amazing stuff that is in kibble. They still need that. So, when you are making the homemade dog food, you need to add it in. So I did toss out the containers that their supplements came in but I will link the exact ones that I use down below this one had both of these had the best reviews on Amazon and it had all of the ingredients that my veterinarian said they needed so I ordered them and I got them for a very affordable price off Amazon so the first one I'm going to talk about is Blissey she's a nine-week golden doodle and she needs a puppy supplement so this is a all-in-one puppy supplement it's actually in a dog treat form so with her current weight right now she gets two of these it really just depends on their weight eventually she'll get three and then eventually she'll get four and what I do is she will not take these as treats they're peanut butter flavor a lot of dogs like them in the reviews but some dogs didn't and she is so she's laying on the floor um, below me so that's why I keep looking down she is so picky with her treat she will not take this as a treat but what I do with their morning serving is I will chop up two of these treats and just mix it in her dog food so she has already had her am serving she has it at 8 a.m. every morning so she already got her supplements and this gives her so much nutrient so I make sure I mix it in her food every morning. So Bentley is a Yorkie and he's six years old and this one came from Amazon as well. It came in a powdered form. You can also I believe get this one in a treat form too but Bentley is very particular with his treats as well so I went ahead and got this one in the powdered form. It had the best reviews for like adult dog um, food supplement. So this one has everything in it. It's an all-in-one supplement so everything they need it has. He gets one teaspoon based off his weight. It really depends on their weight but I just wanted to say that um, I I already mix it in their morning serving so they're about to have some dinner in a few hours and they will not need the supplement I just like to go ahead and take care of it in the morning so they get it they're good to go um, so I will have the exact supplements that they use down in the description box another supplement that I add into their homemade dog food that I completely forgot to add in I usually add it in before I start the instant pot but that's okay you can just add it in when it's done as well is coconut oil so you really want to make sure you're adding in a healthy fat 
Fat is so amazing for your dog's joints and their coats. That's how you're gonna get them to have that shiny coat. So I add about two to three tablespoons per batch of food, and it has been doing amazing things. If you think about it, coconut oil is amazing for our hair too. So I add it into my hair whenever I'm doing like a deep conditioning treatment. So I've been adding it into their dog food and I've seen such a huge change. I just pick up a big jar and I get the organic one. And like I said, you're gonna notice a major difference with your dog's coat so add this in and add it in before I just simply forgot all right so the instant pot already manually released so all the steam is out so I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks they both of my dogs are sitting right here they love the smell of this food all right, so this is how the food looks. Not very appetizing, but I promise you it will when it's all done. So since I forgot to add that coconut oil in earlier, I'm just gonna go ahead and add it in now. That is Blissy hitting the bell. She has to go potty. Give me one second, Blissy, okay? And mama will take you out. So I add about two tablespoons. And then once you add in your oil, do that before you cook it. You just take this little guy, I will link it below. It is key to getting the dog food to be the perfect consistency. And I just mash everything together. So that's why you're able to cut everything in like big chunks because you're gonna mash it anyway. So this is the consistency you're looking for. It is perfect. It is still piping hot right now. So I'm gonna let it cool off, but you can see I really took that tool and I mashed everything. So there's tiny bits of carrots and sweet potatoes. They're not too chunky, not too big. Perfect for my puppy and perfect for Bentley so that they don't choke on anything and everything's softened since it was pressure cooked. <laughs> So here is the two large containers I was able to get out of one batch. This is good in the fridge for up to four days. So what I do is I keep one of these containers in the fridge and then I will freeze the other container so that way it doesn't end up going bad. I actually already have a large container in the fridge already because I made some a few days ago. So I'm going to freeze both of these. You can also freeze them in like a freezer bag. That works as well. But I was finding that it was hard to get like the portion out the freezer bag when it was defrosted. So I just go ahead and freeze it in here and I only keep it in the freezer for like a week or two so these are airtight it doesn't get like any freezer burn or anything like that so you can do it in these containers or in freezer bags work well too okay Bentley you ready for your food come on boy come on all right sit 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 stay 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 eat He loves his homemade dog food. He is going to town. Blissy's over here going crazy too. Let me get her portion. All right, Blissy girl, come here. You ready? You ready for your homemade dog food? Come on, baby girl. Come on. Come on. All right, sit. Sit. Stay. 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 Up. Let's try again. Stay. Stay. Stay, 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 eat. She loves her homemade dog food. Going to town. Bentley's over here. You still going to town, Bent? Is it yummy, Blissy girl? Bentley cleared his entire bowl very fast. There's Blissey with sweet potato and carrots all over her mouth. Let's see your bowl. You devoured your bowl. How was mama's cooking? Was it good? Was it good? She's going back for more, you guys. So I definitely think your dogs will love this recipe.